Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Teddy Bear Printing. You want a design shirt or you know you want some sort of shirt, use Teddy Bear Printing, use the word sport for 10% off your discount code. Anyway, I thought I'd do, and as you can tell by the title on the thumbnail, a sort of season review so far on the Brighton perspective. Bits where I'm slightly disappointed. And I think we could have done a bit better. So let's get straight down to this. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we played was Chelsea at home. 3-1 uh, defeat. I was, you know, I weren't, I weren't like disappointed in this result. But I was, you know, probably expecting a little bit more. Because I watched the friendly I think it's about a week or two weeks before in the 2500 test event that happened at the Emirates Stadium. But anyway, possession was 52.3% to Brighton. That's what Graham Potter wants to play the Brighton way, uh, the possession game. But as I said, the possession game is only good if you win the game. Now, it's only good because the possession game gets you nowhere in the match magical side of football and Chelsea had a 47.7% uh, possession which is uh, completely fine and then you start to slowly work on what Graham Potter's great plan is to you know attack in football we had three shots on target three shots on target and Chelsea had five now as Graham Potter says, we can't hit the target every time. Can't always pull on target. But then you read the shots into this game. We have 13 shots, which is way off half of our shots were on target on that day. Against Chelsea's 10, which is spot on half on target. So fair play for Chelsea for doing that. As I said, I weren't too disappointed at this, day, at this time. You know, I expected Chelsea to be hard and tough and quite frankly as I remember they were. Probably could have done a little bit more though. And then we go to Newcastle away. Newcastle away, yeah, hey, great day away. Absolutely great day away. Um, you know, up at St James's Park. A long trip for us fans if we were able to attend. Possession was 47.2 to Newcastle, so, you know, more, was it more or less? Just a little bit less than what Chelsea had on the previous game. But, you know, it's Newcastle, so we give them the benefit of the doubt. And Brighton's was a 52.8%, so a little bit more, yeah, just a little bit more than we had at home to Chelsea. Which is what, you know, which was okay. I'm happy with that. And then we go to shots on target. Newcastle had none. And we had six. So, you know, I'm quite happy with that after you read the shots that we had as well. And we had 13 shots and Newcastle had six. So we're just a little bit of half a target again. But I think that, yeah, you can't actually half 13, can you? So probably you know yeah probably about one shot away and put it on target yeah so yeah we're about half on target with that game which is fine which i'm happy with but then we come to united at home and now this is where i think stuff has got way below us fans expectations and we've taken a big dip from this game in my perspective so the possession was in our favour again a 53.3 uh, possession for Brighton and Man United had a 46.7 which is fine you know it's good and then we come to the shots on target we have five shots on target while Man United had three which is okay which is good you know fair enough and then you read how many shots we had you ready? We had 18, sh yep, just double checking, 18 shots on that day, but Man United had seven. So Man United were half, and we were well below half of our shots on target. And 
this is why we question, especially with away trip to Spurs, you know, why we had no real um, striker play at Tottenham. But, you know, game's gone, we move on. And then we went to Griddison Park. And the possession was 43 point four for Everton and a 56.6 for us which is okay you know but could have done a little bit better so as I've just read the possession our shots on target were six to Everton and three to Brighton now yet again slightly happy but could have done a bit better and obviously the result was 4-2. Main United at home was 3-2 last. Newcastle were obviously a 3-0 win. And we lost 3-1 at home to Chelsea. But anyway, back to the Everton game where we lost 4-2. 11 shots each. So, you know, I'm perfectly happy with that. And, you know, probably should have done a slightly bit better. But I know how well Everton had before me up until this point so I weren't you know too really you know you know where I'm coming from so and then we go to the West Brom game now West Brom to me was a f very disappointing game so disappointing more ways than one okay we played well for the first half and then the second half we just i think we were lucky to get the point to be honest with you but anyway the possession was and for us to be a possession team we actually lost out on this one and it was a 49.7 to brighton and west brom had a 50.3 so you know i had slightly more possession which as i said unless you go well again possession don't really count shots on target were three three so you know and the shots were five to nine in West Brom's favour. So, you know, it weren't too bad on that side of things. But West Brom, to me, is a game we need to win. I'm not, you know, slamming it. But West Brom, Burnley, who just played, needs to be a winnable game. Then we went to Spurs away. Now Spurs away finished 2-1 and pretty much possession was a 43.3 to 56.6 in Brighton's favour. So we won the possession game which is fine. But as I said unless we go win it, don't count. Shots on target were 3 to 2 in Tottenham's favour. And then we go to shots on target, uh, sorry shots. Shots on target were 3-2. Then shots for 9-6 in Tottenham's favour as well. So we're, we're losing the shots on like on target. I agree with what Graham Potter said during the season. About, you know, we can't expect every shot to be on target. Um, I can understand what he's trying to do. But it's frustrating. Especially when I'm about to read these shots against Burnley. Now I think the game finished now now. And to me, as I said when I was talking about West Brom game, Burnley are teams we need to beat if we go down this division. Anyway, possession was fifty-eight point nine to forty one point one in Brighton's favour. So we got the possession on that game, which is absolutely fine. You know, but as I've said in this video more than once, unless we're gonna win a game, what's the point of having the possession? And then it gets funny. It gets really funny from where I'm sitting. Tell me how you feel about these analysis below. And if you want to see more videos like this on Brighton, put it down in the comments below. Or come out over Facebook. Or, you know, let me know because I can actually do more videos like this. Shots were 3 to 1 on target in Brighton's favour. I can't believe I'm going to read this stat. Brighton's shots were 19 to 4. Now let me just sum that up. That's not even halfway on the shots on target. That's not even 
you know, a slightly of the way there. That is probably not even quarter. It might be a third if we're lucky. But to have three shots on target with 19 shots, that's their stuff. But, you know, it's going to be an interesting remainder of the season. As I've said, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more Brighton videos in, you know, even like match previews or stuff like that, put it down in the comments below and I'll do that for you. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do, so a big front fans might you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.